Hey guys, welcome to another maths tutorial. Today we're going to talk about piecewise functions. So what are piecewise functions? Well basically they are functions where depending on the value of x we can change the equation of the function to different types of equations uh, depending on what the value of x is. So uh, I'll just give you guys an example to start off. So basically I can create a piecewise function where uh, for example let's say f of x is equal to um, let's say x cubed only if x is bigger than 3. Okay, so basically there is a new condition that we can set for each equation. Right, so how do we draw this in GeoGebra? So in GeoGebra, when we normally draw a graph, for example, f of x is equal to x cubed, um, this is what a cubic graph looks like. Now, this is not a piecewise function yet because we haven't specified any conditions for this graph. So now if we say we only want to display this graph when x is larger than 3. So I'm going to delete this first. And I'm going to type in the input text box f of x is equal to and I'm going to use the if statement in GeoGebra and you can see that it's already telling you what syntax it should look like. So click on the top one. And where it says bracket condition, I'm going to change that to x is larger than 3. So when x is larger than 3, then I'm going to display x cubed. So put x cubed uh, where the bracket then is and press enter here and uh, you will see that it hasn't displayed my equation for some reason oh there it is so I had to zoom out quite a bit because um, the line goes quite high when x cubed when x is 3 y is uh, 27 so the line only starts when x is uh, bigger than 3, so uh, 3.00001. So basic, essentially it starts at a bit higher than 27. Now, for the same function, you can say f of x is equal to, let's say, uh, x squared if uh, x is between uh, x is smaller than or equal to 3 if x is smaller than or equal to 3 uh, and then if you want to draw that in GeoGebra so we we're gonna I'm gonna delete this old line and I'm gonna get back the previous equation that I just did which is uh, this one and uh, basically what happens is uh, if the condition is this then you're going to do that um, and then you need another 
uh, what do you call this, comma after the x cubed, and you're going to put another if statement in there, if, and uh, choose the top one. So if x is smaller than or equal to 3, then we're going to do x squared. Uh, so basically now we have an if statement inside another if statement, which we call uh, nested if statements. Alright, so if we draw that, what happens is, let's just see what happens. Now, what we have is a bit of a break in the graph. Let me just change the ratio of the uh, grid so you can see a bit better. Let's try uh, 2 to 1. Oh. Alright, so you can see a bit better, basically what's happening is there's a bit of a break in the graph because when x is 3, uh, three, squ 3 squared is only uh, 9, whereas when x is bigger than 3, 3 cubed is 27, so here essentially between 9 and 27, there's a big break at when x is equal to 3. And that will usually happen with piecewise functions. Right? Um, because we're using different equations for, I guess, different domains. So here is the notation for the piecewise function as you can see, GeoGebra has done very nicely for you. So I'll copy that out again here. Um, so f of x is equal to, and you need a little bracket thing, uh, x cubed when x is bigger than 3 or x squared when x is smaller than or equal to 3. Alright, well, I hope you guys get a bit of an understanding about piecewise functions and how to draw it in GeoGebra. See you guys next time.